Hey, how you guys doing? So let's talk about this. So if you guys know, about every month I try to keep up with the official polls for Nijigaku, where we would have the official poll go and look and have everyone rate the girls. I kept up with it on this Google sheet here, which I had all the rankings listed over time, and I try to color code them, and I would make a video and see how their averages fluctuate over time. Well, it appears that they have terminated that, and now they're trying something new. So I guess. Setsunayuki will be forever number one, and we will have Emma never getting out of ninth place because she can't because she's still stuck in it. So I guess they're done doing that maybe because they got sick and tired of seeing consistent results. I don't know, but at least for me, I'll keep doing mines. So uh, I guess you can guys go ahead and vote for that one now since the official one is not there. But that's not the point of this video. More or less, I'm saying that this is over, but they are doing something different this time. Now they had this thing called this monthly questionnaire. So exactly what is a monthly questionnaire? Well, I didn't even know until they finally released the results earlier today. More or less, they have this theme. It's just a phrase, and then they want you to vote whoever is the most applicable for that. So the first monthly questionnaire is basically on who is the trickster when it's April Fool's time, and who is the one being most deceived, or who is most gullible, the one that's going to fall for these tricks on April Fool's. So you can vote for whoever you thought would be most applicable for that. So we end up getting I being the trickster, which makes sense. She loves jokes. Beyond that, it could, I guess it could have been Kasumi. And then the most gullible, which that's kind of a lot of Amy's trope is that she is very gullible. And she is so innocent and pure that the tricks just go over her head. And that's, it makes sense. I don't know why they decided to do that in January. But yeah, anyways, it was in Japanese, so of course the translation doesn't seem to make out so well, but that's more or less the gist. So, now moving on to February, of course we can vote on a new one, and it's asking whose outfits best fit the angel or demon, kind of, I don't know, gets that kind of feeling. So, on each individual character, you can go and click and vote which one you think, either angel, demon, or neither. Again, I don't know why we're doing this in February, these are just straight up random and doesn't have to seem to do anything with the month. I don't know, maybe it could have been something about Valentine's or uh, the upcoming one for March, so something about spring maybe. I don't know. Anyways, you can go vote on each individual one and say which one you think and I guess the one who gets the most? I, I don't know I don't know if this is gonna be like last time where they have one winner for each section, which I don't even know if you want to call them a winner. It's just they're the most applicable for that section. But I maybe everyone will be like, oh they're neither or this person's more demon like and this one is more angel like. Although Yoshiko's the most demon like I guess. And angel like I don't know, Emma or something like that, it's really pure or Shizuku, whatever. So more or less this is gonna be replacing the polls, which I don't see why. I I, I don't know, I mean, we already have polls and they've done so many, so maybe they want to try something different. But my question is, what's kind of the point of this? I'm not entirely sure. This can at least help people build understanding of the character. Are they going to use this somehow, some way in the anime? I don't know, maybe it's like, oh, this character's supposed to like, so we're going to give him a demon costume in the game for all stars, or maybe that's going to happen in the anime. Maybe. I don't know. But. I can't declare a winner. I'll keep track of this on my Google Sheet here. I don't know what the point is, to be honest. We don't have any winners, and I guess that's an I can't win, really, because it's not really a thing you can win. It's not a popularity contest, it's just whoever is most applicable for whatever thing they decide. Anyway, that's more or less what I want to say. You guys can go ahead and vote. I'll keep updating it. Although it's just going to be a really short video because I don't have much to say about it beyond the results and what's the next one going to be. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, and hopefully we'll get to play the English version or worldwide version of All Stars very soon. So let me know how those goes for you. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.